Hi everyone, it's Danny. Please excuse the noises you might hear. It's absolutely windy today. Hopefully, this is a sign of spring. Alrighty, so in front of you today, we have a beautiful red orchid, which is called Colmonara or Oncostele. It has been reclassified. Uh, Wildcat Bobcat. There are quite a few varieties of the Wildcat uh, Colmonara, let's say. They have different patterns and very similar to this one is the Colmonara Bloodshot. Apparently the Bloodshot has to have redder sepals and petals, um, but I, I really don't know. Since the Bobcat is actually more common than the other one, I would presume that this is Bobcat. Uh, anyway, I cannot tell the difference with the pictures on the internet because sometimes colors do not show off that great. On, um, on camera and on pictures. But anyway, this is a pretty, pretty common orchid. I don't know why I didn't buy it earlier. I guess I always said, oh, I'm gonna buy it next time. I'll find it at an offer. Anyway, I just decided to buy it because it has gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Absolutely love the red on the lip here. Um, and you know, I'm a sucker for red orchids. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very deep, red. I assure you it has no purple tinge to it whatsoever. This is a pure red orchid, which is quite uncommon. Now the orchid itself is quite a large lady, as you can see. Like all colmoneras, she is quite large. Pseudobulbs are thick and plump and very fat. And um, yeah, this orchid looks like she is in good condition. I wouldn't suggest it to people who don't have too much space in their growing room because she can get quite quite big and the flower spikes are long with good care most probably you'll get a long flower spike she is not fragrant uh, per se you know how usually some oncidiums especially colmenaras um, have that plasticky kind of smell to them it's not particularly nice but it's not powerful at all so I wouldn't call this a fragrant orchid but I think the colors do make up for it I cannot believe an orchid can be so, so beautifully red. So, alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to search for this orchid, I think you can find it in grocery shops, garden centers, online nurseries, and so on. It is just such a common, or common orchid, and you can find other varieties of wild cats, I'm sure of it. And many of you already have this one, I think. So, okay, if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. You can leave me suggestions and questions in a comment below, but please make sure in your G Plus settings that people outside your circles can reply to you. I will see you next time. Bye!